Are you a faithful or are you a traitor? <laughs>
do um the the competition where they have to go in the the cabin and they have just bugs dumped all over them that's what i want to see i love nothing more than to see real housewives out of their element doing something that they completely would never do ever in real life like the there's this one competition i was just talking about it where they're in a cabin and they're locked in there and they have to like find all these like puzzle pieces and gold nuggets or fucking whatever and during the whole thing they're like in the dark bugs grubs crickets all like dumped on top of them <laughs> while they're trying to do the challenge it is lit <laughs> literally the best thing ever i'm telling you don't sleep on the traders so we've got chanel ion next up we've got chrishell Strauss. She is a soap opera star. She was in All My Children, Days of Our Lives, and now she is on um, Netflix's show Selling Sunset. Fun fact about me when I was a little kid, staying home from school, I loved, loved All My Children. There's your fun fact about me for the day. I loved All My Children. Next up, we've got Sierra Miller. We've got another Bravo celebrity in the house. She is from um, Summer House. She was on there for five seasons. Next up, we've got Danielle Reyes. She was the runner-up on the third season of Big Brother. And again, she was also on the spinoff show um, called The Reindeer Games. I don't know what the reindeer games are. Is it like a, is it a competition show? Is it like Survivor? Is it like, I don't understand what the reindeer games are. I don't think you're ready for this next cast member. From the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Welcome back, scumbag. Welcome back, scumbag. Dolores. Freaking Dolores, man. I hope someone activates her. And I really do hope that we get to see Patterson Dolores come out. Ugh. I don't think she's going to be a little puss about anything, though. No. I really don't think. I think she's going to get in there. I think she's going to get dirty. I think she's going to compete. Would I love to see her be a traitor? Yeah, I would love to see Dolores be a traitor. 1,000%. Another, another Bravo celebrity in the house from the Real Housewives of motherfucking New York. We've got, what are you doing here without Dorinda? We've got Dorinda Medley from Roni. Oh my God. <laughs> I hope she gets drunk. And let me, a Jew, a I cooked, I cleaned, I did it nice, and I hope we got the hand gestures. I hope we get it all. I hope we get the she's starting, Dorinda. I want her to eat everybody up. Pigeons don't fly with eagles, so get your breadcrumbs and get back to me tomorrow. I want all the one-liners. I want all the drunk moments. I want her to cut so deep. I want her to go in on every single person. For real, not even kidding. Dorinda Medley on the Traders. Oh, dream come true, honey. Next, we've got Dylan Efron. Now, if that last name sounds familiar, you ain't wrong. He is Zac Efron's brother. And he is also on the show called Down to Earth. Next up, we've got Gabby Windy. She was from The Bachelorette. And then she went on to compete on Dancing with the Stars. And she placed second on that show. Next, we've got Jeremy Collins. We've got another Survivor bro in the house. He was on Survivor San Juan del Sur. And then he was crowned the sole survivor of Cambodia. And then he also participated in the spinoff um, Winners at War. So a, a survivor vet over here. Next up, real wild card in the bag here. Real titty twister, if you will. Lord Ivar Mount Mountbatten. <laughs> he is part of the 
British monarchy. He is the second cousin of King Charles III, and he was the first to be in an openly gay relationship, and he's married to his partner, James Coyle. So, good for you, representing the gays, along with Bob the Drag Queen, honey. But, bitch, you old. We'll see. We'll see. He could surprise us. He could su surprise us and be, like, quick and nimble. But he don't look like no spring chicken. Next up, we've got Nikki Garcia. So Nikki Garcia, she is a professional wrestler. She was in WWE along with her sister Brie, and um, she could be fun too. I think she is a little. She could look. She looks like a little Spitfire wrestler. I think she could eat everybody up. Feel like she's not going to play any games. Next, we've got Boston. Rob Mariano, he competed on the 4th, 8th, and 20th seasons of Survivor before finally winning Survivor Redemption Island. He then returned for Survivor Island of the Idols as a mentor and competed on Winners at War. Survivor vets, don't play with the Survivor vets. Because they know how to game. They're stuck on an island. They have to fucking eat rice and compete for some good food like chocolate and shit. Don't play with Survivor people. They know how to play the game. They know how to play the game for the long run. Like, I wouldn't want to compete against someone that's been on Survivor. Are you kidding me? I would lose in a second. This one I'm a little question mark about. We've got another Bravo celebrity in the house. Robin Dixon. I did not have Robin Dixon joining the traders on my bingo card, but she will be on the traders. Robin Dixon. Is she going to be boring? I will say this, all right? Yes, she's a little boring, okay? But I'm kind of curious to see how she's going to be in an atmosphere without her cast members, without Giselle, without any of her, like, roadies, without any of her, like, soldiers. I'm really curious to see what her dynamic is going to be in the, in the castle. So, Robin Dixon. Another wild card. I did not have this on my bingo card. Sam Asgari. Do you know that name? You fucking know that name. Britney Spears's ex- fucking husband girl are you kidding me now i bet he better better he better not throw britney spears under the bus or i will come for him a little asmr he better not come for britney do not air dirty secrets let her live but also i'm kind of curious just saying Sam Ascari in the Traitor's Castle. <sighs> Tam. Tam. Who's Tam? Tamra. No, Tom Sandoval. Next. Yep, Tom Sandoval is going to be on the Traitor's Season 3. God. Moving on. Next. Tony Vlachos. He is from another Survivor. He was from, oh, it doesn't say. Oh, what am I trying to say? English, not my thing. He won Survivor twice. Oh, honey, he is gonna, he, he's gonna know how to game. One Survivor twice. He's the second person. There's only two people that have won Survivor twice, and he's one of them. Next up, we've got Wells Adam. So he was on The Bachelorette. And then he went on to compete on Bachelors in Paradise, okay? And that's your cast. That is the cast. We have got... I've also got my notes here. We have 21 reality stars competing on Season 3 of The Traders. We have got six people that are like hardcore gamers. We've got Big Brother in the house. We've got Reindeer Games in the house. We've got Survivor in the house. And then we have six 
Bravo Liberties. We've got Chanel from The Real Housewives of Dubai. We've got Dolores from The Real Housewives of New Jersey. We've got Dorinda from The Real Housewives of New York. We've got Robin Dixon from The Real Housewives of Potomac. We've got Clara Miller from Summer House. And we've got The Worm from Vanderpump Rules. I am really excited. We've also got Bob the Drag Queen, honey. A RuPaul's Drag Race legend, Bob the Drag Queen. This season, oh, and we have Britney Spears' ex-husband. Y'all, this season is going to be in fucking sane. Insane. There is no air date yet. I'm assuming probably like fall, winter 2024 it'll come out. Um, but you can watch season one and two on Peacock now and... If you're not watching, y'all are missing out because the Traders is where it's at. Are you excited about this cast? I'm ecstatic about this cast. It is Chef's Kiss. Honestly, I wanna I want more of this content because I am such a huge fan of the Traders. It's disgusting. I love seeing housewives out of their element. I feel like this is the future of reality TV, and it's just giving me all of the feels. The traitors, that's where it's at. Comment below. Let me know who you think is going to be a traitor. Who do you think is going to be a faithful? Who do you think is just going to go home first? Who's not going to last? I don't think Tom Sandoval is going to last. He's a little crybaby, like a little fucking titty baby, and I want him just get him out first, and honestly, I think everyone might vote him out first because he's just a disgusting slob. Like, goodbye. But yeah, comment below. Let me know who you're excited for. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, get subscribed. I'll talk to you guys later. Are you a faithful or are you a traitor? Bye.